Hello, this video is about ultimate solutions for adjournment. There are many ways to overcome adjournment and I will mention some of them here to take immediate action whenever you feel like that. That will help you keep help you to keep all your work up to date. That is also helpful if you want to stop your customers from moving away from you. If you work for someone, your boss will be satisfied if you produce the work on time. Get a partner. You must set up deadlines to complete some of your tasks that you feel are difficult to manage, dealing, leading to procrastination. There are a couple of options. First, find a partner to help you be accountable that can assure your manager or clients that you will complete the work promptly. You can find a coach too to keep on track with your work. It is also possible to find an accountability partner. You can save this relationship by connecting with a person on the phone or in person and setting up a time for that. Also, it will help you if you're committed to what you can do before the next meeting. The essential point here is to keep refrain from returning to your word. which will help overcome procrastination. Best person you select should be an outsider, not to involve your partner, life partner. Leave the perfect, perfect perfectionism. Sorry. Some of us are perfectionist. That is their mentality. If something is imperfect, it means failure. They think like that. The people with this mentality wait until some everything becomes as perfect as they expect so that it will take much time and delays are there. Also, they, are, they always look for an ideal time to start something. So because of this mentality, the work gets delayed. As a substitute, concentrate on perf better than perfect. It means that you are still trying to bring excellence to your work. Creating excellence of setting up excellent conditions is better because you can finish the work without putting the work off. Portion it. It is expected that you, that when the work is overwhelming, procrastination occurs. So the best idea to sort it out is to portion the work into smaller ones. You can, so which you can manage easily. If you are, say for example, if you are writing a book and we have finished a book writing and you want to edit it, you are not good at it. You do, otherwise, you will take a long time to finish it. So that will put off everything. So to get somebody to do your the editing work, that will help you not to postpone your work and or even overwhelm with the work. That will help you. So that's the way you can come out of it. Breaking into smaller ones. Get rid of cognitive distortion. It becomes the most significant problem because people make it a big issue out of something you can do if you want to do it. They imagine finishing the task is difficult because tedious and painful. Whatever thoughts are, the fundamental problem is completing the task, which is un unbearable. Encounters, boredom, and hard work will not kill you or even make you sick. On the other hand, procrastination is correlated with pressure that can bring you mental illness. So you have to, you have to make sure that you are thinking about, the, you are not thinking about these things. So keep things in vision. Sure, this is not my chosen project, but I can do it. You have to make up your mind that way. Avoid exposing your emotional conditions. If you postpone too much with something, it will most likely tension you out and cause fear, mainly when the other people or things are participating. If you are often stressed or get easily overrode 
and anxious. This leads to poor health effects. Procrastination also leads to feelings of despair, which starts to upset other areas of your life. The more depressed you feel, the harder it becomes to act. That's the problem. Not only that you are depressed, but it is also getting worse. You cannot do the work and the work will be delayed and you cannot finish the work on time. So that, it, that will be a big worry and it leads to mental health as well. It affects the mental health. Concentrate on your why. Procrastinators concentrate more on short-term gains, evading the worry correlated with the job, contrasting them with long-term results, the stress of not doing it and the outcomes of preventing this task. As an alternative, try concentrating on why you are doing this task. What are the benefits of finishing it? If you have been putting off wiping out a private expect walking into the remote when it is decluttered and how good that you will feel. Count the income you will get by selling these things on eBay or how those in need of will feel when they gather them as gifts. If it is an exercise program, I've been avoiding focus on how physical training will help you. More confirmed energy improves your self-system and serve as an excellent for your excellent role model for your children. Maintain a work schedule. Maintaining a work schedule for all your work will help you remember the priorities of your work. If not, you will leave some vital work. When you realize it, you will try to finish that quickly so that it might affect the quality of the work. Therefore, maintaining a schedule for your workload helps to avoid procrastination. You should improve some parts of the work. You postpone some work if you are not good at it and keep putting it off. So how do you find a solution for it? It would be a good idea if you outsource the work to finish everything on time. For instance, you are writing the book, but prefer to do something other than editing. If it goes for a while, goes on for a while, you will never be able to publish a book. So it's a good idea to over outsource the part of the work so you can post the book. This applies to all the jobs you do. The work you can't do, you can outsource it. That's the best way to stop postponing your work. So procrastination plays its role in incensus life is. We must find an immediate solution rather than leave it for a long time to avoid that. I hope you like this video. If you are a person who keep putting off, putting the work off. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you. Bye for now.